So before I start my makeup, I'm gonna hydrate my face using MAC Fix Plus. And then I am using Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC as a base for all of my eyeshadow. The first eyeshadow I'm using is called Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. The next colour is from the Warm Neutral Palette from MAC and it is called Saddle and this is going to go more, more so in my crease as a transition colour. The next shade is called Dark Brew and I'm going to focus this more on the outer and inner corners of my eyes. Um, I really want to create like a halo look so I'm going to leave the centre of my lids bare for now. And then I'm going to take the same shade but on a little bit more of a fluffy brush and just buff this out more in my crease. Now I'm going to use a blush and this one is Melba from MAC and you're probably thinking why is she using a blush in her eyes but I love to use blushes sometimes, I think they're just such a nice way to warm up the look. This cranberry shade is from NYX Cosmetics or NYX and I don't think their eyeshadows have names. Sorry if they do, I don't know the name of it, but the next shade is Dance in the Dark and this is from the MAC palette again and we're going to just darken up what we did earlier. And I'm taking the same colour on a bigger brush and just darkening up the crease again. This colour is called Honey Lust and as you can tell I am obsessed with this palette, it's got so many good shades in it, so I use it all the time. But this is going in the centre of my lid, which is where I left there earlier. And now I'm onto eyeliner, so I'm using Black Track from MAC with a small brush and just creating a line. And then we're going to join that back up to our lash line and yeah. Now that our eyeliner is even, you can tell that it stresses me out a little bit. <laughs> we are going to go on to eyelashes, but first of all, mascara, so our eyelashes have something to sit on. So I'm using Benefit Roller Lash and this is a really good mascara. It just separates all your eyelashes. So I'm going to put some lashes on top and this is definitely sped up because the eyelashes took me a while. I haven't used strip eyelashes in so long as you can tell from my face. <laughs> So I'm going to use a wipe to clean up my eyeliner and any fallout that might have come from the eyeshadows. I use the Skin Base Visage, I think that's how you say it, from MAC as my primer. So I'm going to mix two foundations, one is L'Oreal's True Match in the shade Creamy Beige and the other one is Clinique Beyond Perfecting in the shade 6 Ivory. So I applied this with a brush and blended it out with a beauty blender. For concealer, I'll be using Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind in the shade Light. And I applied this under my eyes, in my T-zone and on my chin, just to highlight my face. And then I'm using the collection Last Perfection in number one Fair. And this concealer is honestly as good as MAC Pro Longwear. I can't really choose between the two and I'm blending this out with the Beauty Blender again. Now onto powder so we can set our face. This is the Transparent Loose Powder from Rimmel. 
everyone that I've introduced this to is also obsessed with it like I am and it is so cheap it's so good this is the archery brow pencil from soap and glory in the shade love is blonde and this is also a really good cheap product I'm not really too neat with my eyebrows or precise because I am quite blonde so I don't think bold brows suit me so I don't mind them to look a bit messy so I don't take too much time and then the good thing about this pencil is that it comes with a gel on the end so I'm gonna set my eyebrows with that gotta have our eyebrows in place and now I'm just brushing away the powder that was just set in there for a while so we can go on to the rest of the face. Sid actually introduced me to this palette and it's the Taylor Blue Contour Kit. So there's my face all upset because it's really dirty and the mirror's broke. But I'm going to set the rest of my face with the two light shades and taking the middle contour shade, I'm going to just contour my face. Not too much, but just give me a little bit of colour. This powder is from Bobbi Brown and it's their bronzing powder in the shade Golden Light and I'm using this brush from Real Techniques to carve out my cheekbones and my forehead and my jaw line and basically everywhere. <laughs> I don't always do this but I decided to add a little bit of bronzing powder down the side of my nose and then obviously decided it was too harsh and blended it all out. <laughs> This blush is called Desert Rose from MAC again and I'm just going to put a little bit on my cheeks to give me a little bit more colour. This is Moonstone from Becca and it is a little bit pricey but it is amazing so I put this on my cheekbones, on my brow bone, on the tip of my nose, on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, anywhere I can put it because I just think the right amount of highlighter can make someone look so healthy and just really brighten up your face so then I'm going to spray a bit of Fix Plus and dab it in with my damp beauty blender just to make it look like it's actually my skin and it's not just sitting on, on top of my skin. Now I'm just finishing my eyes with the lower lash line, so I'm using Saddle which is the transition colour we used on the top. So this is just going to even out the top and the bottom of the eyes so it doesn't look weird. So adding a little bit of dimension to the bottom so then I'm going to pick up the dark brew I think it was to just darken it up and blend that out. I'm going to finish my lower lash line with some mascara and then just blend in my false lashes with my real ones. So we're almost finished, on to lips. This is Whirl Lip Liner from MAC, one of my favourites and I'm just going to overline my lips a little bit, not too much but just to even out the shape. And for lipstick I used Faux from MAC which is one of my go-to's. So I'm just going to finish my face with some more Fix Plus and then we are done. If you guys want to see more from our channel please subscribe and this was my easy glam daytime makeup look. Thanks for watching, bye!